Hello and welcome back to Life Lessons with Sheila and welcome back to another Sims 4 Alphabet Build Challenge. Today we're doing H for a hot topic. You guys voted and good job I would have chose a different one as you see. <laughs> Let's hop into it. Hot Topic is an aesthetic surrounding the fashion and products from the shop of the same name, Hot Topic, throughout its long and storied history. Seen as the epicenter for many an aesthetic popular throughout the 90s and into the present day, Hot Topic has faced criticism for both being a bandwagon rider in terms of what's popular and as a being incredibly overpriced, considering you can get a lot of the same merchandise at other stores for cheaper prices. The decade is the 80s going into the 90s, early 20s. I like to think of Ali Sheedy's character, Allison, in The Breakfast Club. Generally marked as 1986, the year Hot Topic went public, starting trade stocks on the NASDAQ. The new metal era saw a metal, major focus on the mall goth, who wore the controversial fat pants and solid band shirts from the new metal era, as well as entertainment properties that would be considered popular in those circles, such as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, South Park, and WWF. On top of this, Hot Topic also carried fashion that was inspired by goth, punk, raver, and lounge aesthetics that were popular at the time in certain counter-cultural circles. If one really put their mind to it, they could use Hot Topic's fashion and accessories to craft a halfway decent cyberpunk or cybergoth look. Many former mall goths would actually consider this era to be Hot Topic's golden period, though how much of that is centered around nostalgia as opposed to objective truth is very much open for debate. But as new metal fell out of fashion, Hot Topic had to make a choice and either stick to the aesthetic groups that made them the raging success that they became or get ready to cycle them out in favor of some new blood and go after a new hot counterculture of movement bubbling up. Music related to this topic is more like Nine Inch Nails, Fear Factory, Tool, and White Zombie. Movies that represent this is like I shared earlier, The Breakfast Club, and then also The Crow, The Skulls, Face Off, all come to mind. Colors would be dark, purples, teals, blacks, and gray tones. Hard textures, not much softness. Around the time new metal started fading out of fashion, due to most of the fans growing up and outgrowing new metal because they weren't wanksty, edgy teenagers anymore, Hot Topic decided to shift its focus away from the aging out new metal crowd into the emo, punk, and scene crowds that were starting to see a surge in popularity, thanks to websites like MySpace and other social media websites that were becoming new hotness at the time. This is also the time when Hot Topic started majorly expanding into malls throughout the United States and Canada, becoming a rather popular chain, which is also why some people automatically assumed that Hot Topic was always this way. That was their first taste of Hot Topic as an entity. In this era, gone were the baggy fat pants, the bondage pants with straps, the raver and goth fashions. They were now replaced with many varieties of skinny jeans and tutus that were popular around the scene kids, among the scene kids and emo kids at the time, though the piercings and hair dyes that were around during the new metal era did remain, and albums from the likes of Korn and Marilyn Manson were now replaced by the likes of My Chemical Romance and Asking Alexandria, and this continued as the emo punk and scene trends continued to ride the wave of popularity even as MySpace and other social media platforms started to fade out of fashion in favor of newer social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. As the sun finally set on the emo punk scene, crowds and geek culture started becoming the new culture norm, Hot Topic again shifted away from the old hotness and into new hotness, though now it's all but completely abandoned selling music band music-based merch altogether, focusing more on geek culture, ephemera like anime, video games, internet memes, k-pop, and comic books, or things targeted at younger or more mainstream audience, like My Little Pony, Disney, Cartoon Network, and Nickelodeon. 
However, that isn't to say they aren't still elements of the music in Hot Topic. They're just no longer focal points of Hot Topic for the first time in history. Instead, the space seemingly filled up with more Funko Pops in place of where the music used to be the focal point. Where Hot Topic goes from here is open for debate, but if they are able to continue with the business plan of catering to the counterculture, Hot Topic will be around for years to come. The Hot Topic company isn't just limited to Hot Topic proper, but also to Hot Topic's many other business endeavors that still surprisingly keep in line with Hot Topic's whole business ethics, such as Torrid, a, bl a fo store focused on plus-sized women's fashion which was spun off in its own business in 2015, Black Heart Lingerie, it's a store that specializes in lingerie and women's fashion that was started in 2012, and Box Lunch, a gift novelty store, opened in 2015 that donated a meal to anyone in need forever, for every $10 spent. Pretty neat, huh? Hot Topic was more than just what we knew it to be. That's interesting to me because as we assume stores are the same as they've always been, they evolve and they change just like we do. In this home, you see a lot of posters, because um, to me, it, that's what I think of when I think of Hot Topic. And those kind of stores are all the posters and um, the gaming things. The clown poster that I, you saw in the hallway there, that was for It, the movie It, that was out in the late 80s. Uh, maybe early 80s, I don't remember. But I've tried to pull in a lot of the dark tones and the purples and the teals and the greens. I would never in my life have a green kitchen, <laughs> but this house has one. This was a very fun topic to build around. You guys knew what you were doing when you were voting. A lot of empty floor space in that kitchen, but I remember our kitchen in the late 80s, early 90s was a lot like that. It wasn't the long kitchen, but it had a lot of empty space, floor space I should say. Now I just gotta clear up the desk. I really am enjoying doing these builds, so thank you for those of you who are voting and choosing the themes are quite fun. Next week will be I, so I will be posting up that um, selection in the community tab probably on Monday, maybe Tuesday. And I usually cut it off around Thursday at 5 because I start building, creating on Thursdays and Fridays. This house took me probably an hour and a half, two hours total to finish. I'll chop down into under 10 minutes. So thank you for those who voted and I look forward to your input on the next build. The next one of course is the letter I.